Omar Figueroa Jr. on 956sports.com. Sponsored by Ciro's Restaurant, the inventor of the Botana Platter. Serving great Mexican and seafood cuisine for over 20 years in Westlaco. And Stormy Colors, your premier auto detail place. Okay, Omar. Um, first of all, congratulations. Hard fought victory. How does it feel? Right now, I'm you know sore and in pain, but I can't describe you know what it feels like to win a, a title like that. It's uh, it's the epitome of uh, of being a world champion. You know, um, I think there's no better way for me to have won the fight. A 12 hard, hard fought rounds. It was a war, and uh, you know it's. Uh, I don't know, that's the way I imagined it in my head, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me, take me through the fight. Um, did you feel like you were hurting him? I know you were hurting him, but he was taking your shots, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I knew I was hurting him. That, you know, that was obvious, but he just kept coming back. And uh, I was, it was amazing to see that, you know, it was cool to see that someone could take my power and could give it back. And, you know, we went, we went toe to toe, but uh, I, w I was just surprised. I was, uh, I don't know, I, I was, it was amazing to see how he just took all that punishment, especially to the body. I mean, head, getting hit to the head, it, it, whatever, but taking those kind of shots to the body, my body was hurting, and that's because he didn't really hit me to the body. I mean, it's still hurting. You could, you could feel your stomach, your, your, your guts just, I don't know, wrenched in there. It's, it's amazing, but I'm really, I'm in shock that he was able to, to, to take all that body punishment and still keep coming. Tell me a little bit about your hand. When did you hurt your hand and how did it affect you during the fight? It was either the second or third round, or maybe both, I don't remember. Uh, I don't I don't know if I hurt them both at the same time or if it was one and the other, but it was either second or third round. Um, I think it was when I really hurt him one of those times, when I, or maybe the first knockdown or, or, or one of those, that, that's after that, that's when you know I, I noticed my hands were, were in pain. And uh, you know, it's just uh, gotta survive after that. Did you feel like you were you couldn't hit him as hard, or you still? Oh, were? I definitely couldn't. I I couldn't. I mean, it, it's hands are bruised, your knuckles, your bones are bruised. You know, it's hard to to try and it, it hurt me probably just as much as it had to hurt him when I would hit him. Now um, the cut on your nose, how did that affect you? The blood flying all over the place. It was it was a pretty it just bruise. Yeah, it just pumped me up. That's that's you know uh, I'd always said. I wanted to experience that in a hard-fought fight, in a in a war, and it, in a, you know it happened at the perfect time, I guess, and it would just pump me up. I'd see the blood flowing. I'd look down. I'd see the blood flowing, and I and I'd see you know Joel all working on my cuts, and it, it'd take me back just to you know when I would watch a, a fight on TV, on you know. Uh, one of those pay-per-view fights or world championship fights and and I'd see you know the, the corner working and, and doing this and doing that and and uh, Give me this and give me that it was just I don't know. I it was it was awesome There were some people you know fans people that were nervous because they're like used to seeing you go the full round yeah. and take punishment mm -hmm. Dish it out, but take it uh, But you felt in control most of the fight, right? Oh, yeah um, I never felt like I was uh, not in control a lot of the punches that he was throwing didn't really have power. I think I, you know, that was, I drained all of his power, you know, in the, in the beginning with those body shots and everything. But he was a tough, you know, my respects to, to Team Maracawa and to Nihiro especially. That was, you know, he was in, in tremendous shape and uh, it was just, it was, it, was, it was an amazing fight. It was such an honor. Uh, but I was I was a better man, and even with my two messed up hands, I felt like I I was doing enough to you know I was controlling the fight, uh, you know undisputedly. What did you learn? What what did you learn from this fight? You can take into your next fight and take into training camp and, and stuff like that. Well, I wanted to experience a fight like this. That's why I guess I didn't really opt out of you know the war fight. Uh, but now you know I, I've proved to to myself, to my fans, to the boxing world that you know I'm I'm not here to to around. You know I'm serious about this. Uh, I'm down to do this. You know if necessary, any time of the day, with anyone. 
but you know we'll be I'm a, I'm going to be smarter next time. I'm going to box. I'm going to you know not get hit as much. Uh, but this is this is one that you know, I had it had to be. It was my first championship fight. You know, uh, first time getting cut. First time this. First time that. So uh, we're done with that. And uh, you know we'll be we'll be smarter next time. Yeah, because there's some people I interviewed afterwards. They said no, he needs to change his style because he's not going to last in boxing that way. So you feel like yeah, you people can say whatever they want. You know, people were, gonna, were saying that I wouldn't make it to where I'm at now. People were saying I wouldn't sign with Golden Boy. People were saying I. I wouldn't beat Michael Perez, I wouldn't beat this, I wouldn't beat that, I wouldn't, you know. So people can talk all they want. Me and my coach and, and my team, and you know, we know what we can do. And uh, we know where we can do better and how we can be better. So, you know, it'll come, it'll come with time. It'll come with, when necessary. That's, that's when it'll happen. So what's, what's going to be like the next few weeks for Omar? What's a lot, of, a lot of rest, yeah, definitely a lot of rest. Um, aside from the fact that we had a, a hard, hard camp, like always, um, it was a tough fight. And uh, my body's sore, my body's bruised, my intestines are freaking sore as well. Uh, my hands are messed up, uh, the cuts have to heal. So it's just a lot of, you know, I'm going to have a lot of downtime. So I'm looking forward to that. Sounds good, thanks. Yes, sir.